Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, October 13th. It's Thursday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. It's day 34 of Be Formed. And also uh, wanted to invite those in the area. We're gonna have our festival, it's called, uh, this Saturday, October 15th, uh, here in the parking lot at St. Isaac Jokes after the 4.30 mass. So there's gonna be a couple of college football games on a large screen can be some music, food, beverages, uh, home run derby against the pastor. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. Again, if you're in the area, welcome to, to join us for this fundraiser and fundraiser for the parish. What I'd like to look at is to begin with the gospel. So Jesus is saying, woe to you who build memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Um, he says, consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors. He goes on to say, woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. Who is the key of knowledge? Of course, it's, it's Jesus Christ. Um, Father Mark and I, uh, Father Mark at Notre Dame Parish next door, we're going to be doing some collaboration. And one of the things we're doing is combining uh, our youth, uh, doing a youth group between the two parishes. And one of the studies that he quoted is that recently in a small time period, hopelessness and despair in teenagers has gone from 26% to 46%. So think about that hopelessness and despair. What does that come from? I believe is we're taking God out of everything. We're taking God out of our, our schools, taking God out of our homes in many cases. We're becoming um, in some ways very secular. And when we take the key, and I'm saying key with a capital K, when we take Jesus out of things and out of our lives, it's going to lead to hopelessness because Christ is our hope. The reason why we have hope is that, you know, Jesus says the Son of God died and rose from the dead so that we can have eternal life. If this life were all there were, we wouldn't have any hope. Um, but if we believe that there's life after death, that there's meaning in suffering, that there's meaning in death, that we shouldn't even fear death itself, that's where we get our hope. And so are we taking the key of knowledge away like the scholars of the law? So how, what can we do to reverse this? I think first of all, it's to... Um, it's to study our faith. I remember when I was coming into the church, I had so many questions about many key things in the church, about the Eucharist, about confession, about Mary, the saints, all of the common questions that Protestants have about the Catholic Church. And the more I studied it, the more it started to make sense. And then I started to pray and to form my conscience. And so this combination of prayer and study filled my, my mind and my heart uh, with the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ. You know, in, in our diocese, we're talking about, you know, the, the mission is catechesis to know about Jesus, evangelization to fall in love with Jesus, and then put our faith into action. I always remember Bishop Barron saying, if you're struggling with faith, go serve someone. And when we serve others, it does something to our faith life. It gives us meaning and purpose. And I would tend to say that hopelessness and despair would tend to decrease. And so the more we put Jesus back into our, our hearts through prayer and study, the more we serve Jesus through other people, the more that we make Jesus as the key, the center of our lives. Because um, it says in Psalm 98 today, the Lord has made known his salvation. Who is his salvation? It's Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life, who is our hope. And so if you're experiencing hopelessness or despair, look to Jesus, focus on him, and he will give you the hope that goes beyond all understanding. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus, who is the reason for our hope. He is the key to salvation. Help us to invest in our relationship with Jesus. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And to you and to your family, Buen Camino. Have a good journey, and God bless.